Hey everybody, so this is the tutorial on the duct tape makeup purse I make. And here's one. And this one's been sitting in the room for a long time, so it's kind of dusty. And this can also be a clutch. See, it has a pocket in here, and if you guys know how to make wallet pockets, like a card pocket, clear pockets on it, you can add it, but I only do one pocket so there's more space in here and then I'll show you how to make the rows and yeah so here's what you'll first you're gonna take your zipper out and it's gonna be in a package like this and it's gonna be stapled and be careful when you take it out because if you just pull it off, you're gonna, you might mess up the zipper. So make sure you kind of undo the staple. And yeah, and put these aside. Okay. So first thing, I prefer the seven-inch one because it's just the right size. Um, but when you measure it, see, it's seven inches from here to here. But when you measure it, it's about like eight and a half. Let me get that closer for you guys. It's like eight and a half. And so what I do is I go to, I measure out with the duct tape from nine and a half inches. So you have one half inch space in each side to work with. So you take your first color duct tape and you're gonna put it at eight and a half inches I'm actually gonna go a little bit further because I'm not starting from this point. I'm just going to start from this point so I can just cut them like that. So it will fit in the screen. So I'll go right here. And here. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut three of this color and three of the black. So I actually line mine down here so I have more space to do all of them. Is that one and again this is about nine and a half inches okay let me just make sure for you guys yep nine and a half if you have the seven inch zipper if not just add um, an inch to whatever size zipper you have I'm taking the other color and I'm lining that up there. I'm going to take my ruler and just so you guys can see, I'm going to line it up to the mark where I'm going to cut it from the first side. So I have two strips so far. So I'm going to need two more of this color and two more of the black. So the video is going to speed up in a minute. So now that you have three of each color, you can do one color if you want, but this is going to be the outside color from here. And then the black is going to be the inside of the purse. So don't worry, I'll repeat this step again because we've got to do the other side. 
But for now, I'll just show you what to do. I'm going to move this tape up so I have room to work with my zipper. And you're going to lay the zipper down like this. See, I have it at, I'll show you guys. See, I have it on one line right here and one line right here. And you see I have a half an inch and a half an inch. That's because the tape is an inch longer, so you have a half an inch on each side to work with. Because that's when you're trimming it, it's going to look a lot nicer. So, I'll film it this way and then I'll do a close-up. So here's from here to here. Okay, so I kind of tried my best to get over here. It's kind of hard with the camera in front of my face, but um, I'll actually just do it again. This corner, this corner. Okay. So you'll see that I have about a half an inch to work with on this side. Now with the other, now you're gonna turn it over, so you're gonna have a sticky side. And what you're going to do is you're just going to stick it right on top. You're not going to go any lower or higher. It's just going to be the same length. So you can just put it from here. There you go. Like that. See, so this is going to be your front and this is going to be your back. Try and explain this as easy as possible. If you guys have questions, you can always let me know. So your next strip is going to be your leopard print again. So I'm going to put your. You're going to line it up. It's nicer when you line it up because then everything is just going to be very even. So what I'm going to do is when I line it up, instead of Lining up down here, I'm going to have a little bit of space up here. I like to put this up on each side to line the line up up here. I like the tiniest space over here, but it just works for me. Then you're going to stick it from that half inch right here on each side. Like that. Okay. So when you turn it around, you're going to have a sticky side. So, from that, I line it up again. And you're going to take your black. There you go. It's alright if you have a little bit sticky, it's going to cover with the pocket to make it on that side. And then you're going to have sticky again. So, um, almost about a half an inch of stickiness left. So you're going to grab your leopard print. And you're going to go from wherever the sticky starts on each side. And lay your leopard print down or whatever color you're using. it on top and then you turn over and do the same with the black and this is the last piece like I said there should be three on each side okay. well that one came out better without sticky showing it's all right if it does okay so with this now you're gonna have a little bit of duct tape left and don't worry, just roll it up and it's going to be covered later. But for now, it's just going to show. Okay. So that is your first side. 
and then this is going to be like your inside. So we're going to repeat the same process again. And now you have your basic layout for your duct tape purse. And this will be the inside and this will be the outside. And I like to have my zipper on this side. You can have it on either side. but So I'm going to have my zipper right here. So that's where I'm going to leave it. So, what we do is, it's kind of hard to film, so let's see if I can, raise my tripod up so you can see a little better. I should have done this in the first place, wow. <laughs> Alright, so, what you're going to do is you're going to trim the half inch on each side, and you, it's just going to make it look a lot cleaner and nicer. So I'm going to take my zipper, I'm going to line it up. All right, so now I trimmed it on these sides, and there's a lot of talking, which those are my, it's my parents and my sister talking in the living room, the window's open, I'm actually outside. So, just trimmed on each side. So, now we're going to make the pocket on the inside. And the pocket could be however big you want it to be. So, let's see if I'm focused here. Okay. So you're going to take your inside color to match the pocket. What I'm going to do is I have my purse up here so I know where I'm going to have the pocket and how big the pocket's going to be. So... I'm probably going to have my pocket about one, two, three, four, five and a half inches long. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. This is one, two, three, six. I might do it six and I might cut it down to five inches. So I'm going to have it at six. I hope, let me make sure if I have it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The reason you want it to be an inch longer is because when you tape down your pocket, you're going to need each half inch side to hold down the pocket like that. So you're going to cut four, well, three more pieces of your six inch pockets. So, so now I have four strips of six inch, four six inch strips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one, lay it down, and I'm going to take another strip what I'm going to do I'm going to put I'm going to line it up if I can get it to not stick on me okay so you're going to lay down this strip so you have um, a half an inch on top of stickiness. So, try my best to look at the camera and down below. Um, you're going to fold this piece up like that. 
and you're going to have stickiness on this side and you have a half an inch of stickiness on there and you're going to stick this just to cover the stickiness okay Okay, and then you're going to have this much stickiness left, and you're just going to cover up the stickiness, so you should have a half an inch of stickiness um, when they're done. So just enough to cover the stickiness, which I'm completely feeling at. But then again, this is a tutorial just so you guys get the basics of how to make this. So I'm actually just going to leave that alone. So it's going to be inside the pocket. So this is how your pocket should look. Um, it's going to be about almost four inches tall. But you're going to take a half an inch, so three and a half inches tall, because this part, what you're going to do next is you're going to take your purse, and here's the zipper on this side, and you're going to open it up, and what you're going to do is you're going to stick it down. It's not going to stick because you're going to have the half an inch on this side. So right here, just to show you, it's going to be like that. And then you're just going to fold over this stickiness on this side. And don't worry, like I said, this is this black is going to be covered up. Unless you guys want it lined black. But, um, yeah, so your pocket is right here. It's, like, really dark outside, so sorry if you guys can't see. But here's your pocket, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut strips for your pocket. You're going to take a piece of duct tape, strip of duct tape, and you're going to have it the four inches let's do five inches tall so you have a more to work with or four inches tall would actually work hold on let me see I'll do four and a half so four and a half I've got bad allergies right now so I'm kind of like Snipping. Okay. So, that'd be nice if I move the camera. I'm gonna cut it down. And what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna cut this strip in half. Actually, you can't see the half, so I'm going to move it over. So it's easier to line up. take one of your half strips and your pocket is right here you're gonna leave at least the half an inch of the strip above your pocket this way and you're gonna cover a half an inch of your pocket this way so and you're gonna want some hanging to wrap around so I'm going to try to line this up as best as possible.
when you open your pocket you have more it's really hard to see with black I shouldn't have done black but um what you're gonna do is right here you're gonna cut up like this you're just gonna cut up from where your pocket started and you'll see what I'm trying to explain when I peel this part see how you still have some of your duct tape that's holding your pocket and a part of the half inch what you do is you fold that down I'm gonna do the other side and this helps the pocket have all that space that you made, made and help it keep it down. So, okay. Ooh. Camera totally unfocused. So now you have a pocket and you are done with the inside. So now you flip this over and now we're just gonna fill in the sides and decorate it and whatever else you'd like so all right so I have like seven minutes on my camera left so the rose is probably gonna be if this video isn't long I'll do the rose in the same video but if not it is gonna be on a part two take your duct tape So I have a half an inch more and a half an inch more that you want. And like I said, you're going to cut two of those. So what you're going to do with these strips is you're going to cut about a little over a half an inch. And then with the other one, you're going to cut almost in half. Okay. So now you're going to take your purse. And you're going to put... It. So you are going to line it up from the part of your zipper here, from here, so you're going to line that up and it's about a little over a half an inch and you're going to line it up on this side. You could just do it up to a half an inch if you want. I'm going to try my best to line this up. Hit like that and see so how you have space over here you're gonna turn it over and you're just gonna cut and cut right here and then you're gonna fold it up like that and then you're gonna fold these sides over And then you're going to do that to the other side. And okay, so now for the bottom, you're going to do the same thing you did for the side, sides. You're going to cut a strip that 
is a half inch longer on each side so you have room extra tape to fold over so it should be about like the nine and a half inches we did in the first place when we started those size strips And you're going to take the whole piece and you're going to put half of the duct tape up, so about an inch up, lay it down, and you cut a slit on the side right here, fold that over, same for the other side. So now you have your basic layout for your duct tape purse and inside you have your pocket. I'll probably go on better lighting to show you but I'm going to stop the video right here so I can go on to the rose and the strip right here. If not, you guys can decorate however you want or just have it just like this. But I'm going to move on to how to make the rose.